everyone. The month of April has flown by again, so it's time for my wrap up. So I wanted to start doing this a little bit differently because, yes, books are basically my life, but I have a ton of other things that I do, so I want to talk about those things as well. So for this month I have three things that I've been obsessed with and I want to talk about it. So the first thing I've been obsessed with this month is the TV show Shadowhunters, um, which is a little bit weird because when it was on, I liked it, but I wasn't obsessed with it or anything, but as soon as it ended, I just felt like a void somehow. And I started watching cast interviews and fan videos, and I started reading fan fiction, and basically I'm obsessed with it now. And yes, a big part of that is because of Matthew Daddario, who is the finest specimen I've ever laid my eyes on. But the rest of the cast is just as funny and nice and amazing, and I love all of them, really. So I can't wait until the next season starts. It will be next year, so... I'm gonna die in the meantime. My second obsession was a little bit unexpected, but it is Martin Garrix. So I watched his documentary on MTV like a couple of weeks ago, and I figured that I really like the guy. He is, he is such a nice person, and whenever I sort of get to know an artist a little better, I usually start liking their music more. And that's what happened with Martin Garrix. I never hated his music or anything. I wasn't the biggest fan. I, it was okay for me. But now I really like it, and my favorite song is Wizard. And my second favorite song is Forbidden Voices, and if you haven't heard of him, you should probably listen to them. And my third obsession is uh, my most recent obsession. It's been like a couple days now, and that is Superfruit, which is a YouTube channel by the guys named Scott and Mitch, and they are both part of the acapella band Pentatonix, which you've probably heard of, and they have their own YouTube channel in which they do like cool stuff, and they have coverage and all of that, and they are so cool. I basically either want to be them or be friends with them. They're just insanely talented, really funny, and I love them. Basically for the last few days all I've been doing whenever I'm online is watch their videos and it's gone as far as me watching reaction videos of other people reacting to superfruit videos until 3 in the morning. I've lost sleep watching those videos. It's nuts. And I should be embarrassed of myself, but I'm not because I love them. So yeah, those were three of my obsessions in this month. Uh, I don't think any of them will stop very soon. So let's get into the books that I've read. So the first book that I read this month was Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And this is about two girls who are both witches. One of them is a truth witch and she can discern truth from lies. And the other is a thread witch and she can sort of sense moods and see um, like relationships between people. And they are sort of underrun for an empire, I guess. Basically what my problem was with this book is that it tries to do everything in the same book which makes everything very hazy and confusing and unclear to me. The world was unclear to me, the characters... I, I don't know what the plot is about. Like, I don't understand why it's important. I, think, I just don't think it was explained very well, so I was a little bit disappointed by it because the premise sounded really cool. And I gave it three stars. I might pick up the next book when it comes out next year. But for now, I'm just not that interested in it. The next book I read was An Ember in the Ashes by Sabat Tahir. And this is about two characters. One is a girl who is a slave in an empire, and the other is a boy who is like a reluctant soldier in that empire. And they kind of meet in an interesting way. And this empire is like a Spartan Roman empire, like sort of inspired by it. And it's pretty rough. So Bata here does not go easy on these characters. I really, really enjoyed it. I think it has a great premise. Um, it's only an introduction to the world and the like overarching plot, so I can't really say too much about that. Um, but I really enjoyed it. The writing was beautiful, and I can't wait for the next book to come out. It should come out later this year. And I gave it four stars. And the last book I read this month was Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, and I'm very conflicted by this book. Uh, this book is about a couple of kingdoms that are sort of falling apart and are in going into war with each other and stuff. And we basically follow a couple of characters in each of these kingdoms. Um, I really loved the world. I really loved like the legends and the history and sort of the politics between them. Um, and the overarching plot sounds very interesting and I really want to know what happens. But 
the characters were so boring. They had no personality whatsoever. It was terrible. Um, there's one character who has like an internal struggle, which was interesting, but that got resolved like halfway through the book. And after that, he was just as boring as the rest of them. There was this one character who had like a love story, sort of, but it was really insta-lovey. It's supposed to be over three months, the entire book, but it feels like a week. So it sounds like she is falling in love with this person like from one second into another. And literally three pages later, something happens. And you just know that the whole love thing happened because that needed to happen. And in the end, that whole thing, the love and the other thing that happened, they don't even have like any influence on the overarching plot. So I don't even understand why it was in there. It's really frustrating because this book has so much potential, this world has so much potential, and none of it is used. In this book, at least. I really liked the writing. It, it flowed really nicely and it, it was kind of fast to get through, but they say it's like perfect for fans of Game of Thrones. It's really not. If you like Game of Thrones and think this is anything like it, you will be very disappointed. I gave it three stars. I don't think it was worse than Truth Witch. I don't think it was better either. So those were all the books that I read this month and some of my obsessions as well. If you liked me talking about other things than books as well, for this wrap up, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know too. I don't really mind. Um, I just want to talk about these things. So thank you so much for watching. I make videos every Wednesday and until next time.